1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. That's some fancy counting. No, I'm still practicing my spins. With pi? I'm counting in radians. Wow. 5 pi. The 180 is a stylish trick and a good first spin. You'll pop and spin half a rotation to land switch. Many riders prefer spinning frontside, which, if you're regular, is counterclockwise. Introduce the 180 with W spins on an intermediate run. From a heel traverse, add pressure to your heels and turn uphill. When you come to a stop, transfer to your toe edge and ride away switch. Try it again, but this time when you stop, add a hop. You want to get the feeling of popping and riding away switch. Spin 180s in your boots. You need to dig in with your toes or heels to take off. You don't need to spin that hard to complete the rotation. Just dig in your feet and pop. Unlike bigger spins, you don't really need to turn your head to complete a 180. For front side, just keep your head looking downhill and bring your feet and shoulders around under you. Put your snowboard on and try spinning. Bend your knees to get low, dig your edge in and pop and spin. Keep looking downhill and bring your snowboard around underneath. Generate power for the spin by digging your edge in, popping and turning your lower body. Use your ab muscles to rotate your hips and complete the spin. Think about shooting a three-pointer or quickly pivoting. It's very hard to get power flat-footed. For front side, you can pop off either your toes or heels, whichever is most comfortable for you. Go straight on a beginner run and spin front side 180s. Get low, pop off your edge, and spin. These may be easier while moving since the momentum helps you complete the rotation. Keep your head pointed downhill and swing your snowboard, hips, and shoulders around. You'll land going switch looking downhill. Front side isn't my preferred spin direction and I have a hard time, but I find they're much easier when I start going switch. If you're having trouble, the motivation to land regular may just help you complete the rotation. When you're confident popping 180s on a green run, try it off a jump. Find a jump with a takeoff that's 6 to 18 inches high with little or no gap to the landing. Do some straight airs to get comfortable. As you go up the takeoff, get low and tip on edge. When your front foot reaches the top of the lip, pop, keep looking downhill, and bring your board around. For many riders, front side 180s are easier than backside because you can see where you're going. The most common mistake with front side 180s is not enough commitment. If you don't fully commit, you'll do a 90 degree spin and land on your heel edge. A slight prewind may help you complete the rotation. Prewinding means you'll counter rotate as you approach the jump, like winding yourself up. Slightly turn your hips and shoulders uphill to get momentum for the spin. If you ride with your shoulders facing downhill, you'll have a harder time with front side spins. Just another reason you should ride with good alignment. Pop front side 180s all around the hill, off rollers, between turns, and eventually work your way up to bigger jumps and bigger spins.